Giovanni Stefano Mignani, professor of statistics at the Department of Statistical Science, Science at the University of Bologna, and uh, this is uh, a joint work with uh, my colleague uh, Maria Giulia Matteucci. The, um, so, uh, the, uh, in this uh, talk, I present uh, the results of, of an analysis for uh, uh, being the uh, difference in uh, mathematics performance between males and females. This is a crucial uh, topic in the international debate on educational assessment. In fact, uh, as we know, do males perform better in mathematics than females? Unfortunately for me, yes. But some questions are still open and uh, also some need, uh, some insight are needed to clarify this assertion. And so we use some uh, invalsive data to try to give some answer to this uh, question. But why is it so important to analyze this gender difference? Because the outcome of this difference and also stereotypical aspect uh, it's for example, that uh, scientific disciplines are naturally more suited to uh, boys, uh, determine disparity in the choice made at the university level and also an impact on the choice made at professional level. So uh, this is a problem, especially in uh, uh, Italy. In Italy, we have only 25% uh, of students uh, that enroll in a technical or scientific degree, the so-called STEM degree. And among them, uh, only 20% are females. So there is a very, very uh, critical problem. In the table, uh, learn the graph. So you can see the distribution of the uh, students by gender and uh, disciplinary groups. In the top are the scientific uh, discipline and in the bottom are the uh, humanistic, artistic, uh, sociological and healthcare uh, disciplines. So you can see the dramatic situation in Italy. So in the literature there are a lot of papers dedicated to the analysis of the gender difference from different points of view, uh, cognitive, uh, psychological, social, cultural and so on. But uh, a lot of paper um, use a few data. So the problem is to have a large uh, data to uh, confirm the results. So some um, Words and some study using data from large scale standardized tests, for example, PISA, Teams, and also in Valsi in Italy. Uh, a lot of this, um, almost of this uh, paper confirm a gender gap in favor of males. In particular, this gender is larger among the top performing, increase uh, when uh, progressing the education system, and is evident in almost all participant countries. Then, uh, the aim of uh, our um, works is to analyze uh, um, the, uh, this problem, considering the imbalanced data, uh, in a, um, consider the overall performance, but also analyze uh, the difference along the entire distribution of performances, in particular, focusing on high performances. Why? Because uh, this uh, study, can, this uh, analysis can help in understand why girls, even if, even if uh, have a good result, decide not to pursue the study of a, a scientific degree. And also in terms of low performances, because it is fundamental to promote a learning activity to help girls with difficulty. So, uh, the, in this paper, we try to answer this question, are the significant difference? Can this difference already be detected at the primary educational stage? How difference evolve uh, along the educational cycles? And if are differences in uh, the performance in terms of content areas? Uh, for lower and higher performance in, and also by uh, differentiated by gender. Uh, we use data from the test administered in 2006 and 2007, we consider grade 5, 8 and 10 and we use a sample 
of uh, around uh, 5,000 students per grade. And the uh, distribution of girls and boys is similar in each, for each grade, it's around uh, 50. Uh, we applied uh, three, uh, three several steps. First, uh, we made a comparison on average level of performance using the rush the, the scores uh, calculated by Valsi. Then, we applied a quantile regression analysis to explore the difference, as I said before, along the entire distribution. And then I applied also a Latin class analysis, like the colleagues. So, in this slide, you can find some uh, brief uh, technical aspect of this methodology. Uh, the, uh, Colin uh, said that something, just something uh, about this method, so uh, I give only, only more uh, to suggest you. Uh, in this, this uh, techniques uh, belong to the large and model framework and uh, uh, allow to identify uh, mutually and exclusive groups called uh, Latin class because are not measured and uh, um, among the outcome <coughs> of this model in particular we refer to kind of parameters the probability that any random person belongs uh, in any Latin class and also the conditional probability that someone in a particular class will respond yes or no correct answer in our uh, study and these parameters are uh, used to interpret the uh, Latin class. We also applied an extension of this model, the Latin class regression, that considered the uh, gender as covariate for, um, to uh, allow a comparison uh, of the data in terms of gender difference. So, uh, moving to the results, uh, for the grade uh, 5, we, uh, can, we can see the raw score, the percentage of uh, correct answer for male and female, divided by con area content, content area, and uh, as you can see, the, uh, the male perform better uh, for each content area <coughs> in general. And uh, only space and figure show a not significant difference between male and female. Uh, the test uh, for overall performance uh, is uh, significant, obviously. And in this uh, slide, you can see first the uh, graphs that represent the percentile distribution of male and female, and the results of quantile regression. As you can see, at the lowest level of the distribution, the uh, male and female show similar results. And the, uh, as the performance increases, the difference between the two male and female, boys and girls, increases. And uh, this is confirmed by the results of quantile regression. And in particular, we can see that the coefficient, the reference is male, uh, is negative, so means uh, disadvantages for the uh, female that begin after the 10 percentile, 10 quantile. This, uh, this slide reports uh, in a synthetized uh, way the results of another class for grade 5. First, the, this table contains the, uh, show the results of the probability of membership of each class by gender. As you can see, the mid, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I, I decided to uh, use a free uh, class. Uh, on the basis of BIC uh, comparison, we consider 3, 4, and 5, and I decide that the best solution is for three groups on the uh, index, and also following the uh, theoretical consideration like the colleagues said before. And so I call the first group worst because uh, this was referred to the, uh, the lowest probability of correct answer for each item of the questionnaire. Medium, uh, in this uh, group, they estimated the conditional probability are uh, higher than uh, the respect to the worst, but lower than respect to the best, and for the best group, we refer to the groups where uh, the conditional probability uh, are the highest uh, in comparison with the other ones. 
So uh, uh, from this uh, table you can see that uh, the medium show uh, the highest probability for uh, each uh, gender and especially for and in this case female uh, to perform the meal. But for the best group, uh, the situation uh, shows just a, a problem for female. In fact, uh, there is a difference, a significant difference. Uh, then uh, the second table shows the results uh, for the uh, logistic regression approach, in particular. Um, uh, I focus on the results by red uh, that represent the uh, exponential of a condition of ratio, and this value is uh, um, uh, less than, uh, lower than one, and refers to the comparison between medium and versus best class. So means that for female uh, are less likely to move from the medium to the best class than males. If we uh, consider the second column, the column that uh, referred to the comparison between medium versus worst, this value is uh, near um, one, not significant, so means that the, the transition from medium to worst is similar for male and females. In this table you can find the percentage of current answer by uh, groups, gender and content. And we can see that at the worst level there are no significant difference. The main difference are in the medium level. And uh, for the best group, the only significant difference refers to space and figure. That is a, a quite strange uh, result. Uh, then mo moving to grade 8, similar results for low score, only a um, consideration. We can see a, a general decrease of per current uh, percentage, so uh, um, some problem just at the grade 8. Again, the difference between male and female are in favor of male. Uh, as far as the uh, percentile distribution, the difference is significant just at the lowest level of percentiles, as confirmed by the quantile regression. So the difference begin is present also for the worst performance. This is the results for grade 8. Uh, from the uh, probability of uh, a membership. This table confirms the, uh, the result that the results in general of the performance get worse because uh, the uh, probability of a worst group uh, increase. Um, for medium are similar uh, and also the best <coughs> is in favor of male. The results of uh, 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 logistic class, uh, Latin class, uh, we can see again, again that the uh, transition from medium to best group is in favor, is not uh, in favor of male, females again are less likely to move from medium to the best, but the, uh, the results for the worst groups change uh, from the uh, grade uh, 5. In fact, in this case, this coefficient is uh, higher than 1, meaning that the uh, female is more likely to move from medium to worst than uh, male. This uh, table uh, shows again that there are no significant difference at the worst, and uh, again that the only uh, Content is the space and figure, and uh, the strangest thing that is always in favor of uh, female. Then uh, the last grade, uh, the result, uh, the result show uh, confirm a general downward trend, uh, and also the a better performer of male uh, in comparison with uh, female, and the uh, results of a quantile regression analysis show an interesting results, different from the previous one. In this case, the difference begins after the uh, 40 percentile. Uh, so for the lowest level, the, uh, the lowest and medium level, the male and female show a similar performance. Again, the coefficient is negative for female, so uh, again, there is a disadvantage, but begin. begin 
at uh, for higher percentile. Considering the results of Latin class, uh, the interesting <coughs> result is that now the worst uh, class show the same probability and uh, the results for middle and best are similar as uh, the ones for uh, fifth and eighth grade. As far the uh, Latin regression, we can see again uh, that females uh, uh, are less likely to do to the best, and uh, there is no difference in terms of the uh, moving from uh, medium to worst. And the situation of the uh, percentage called by gender at worst and content, uh, so there is uh, some uh, significant results, uh, not uh, all for uh, no more for spatial and figure, but data and prediction statistics becomes uh, different from male and females in, uh, in medium and best uh, group. So, in summarizing the results, uh, there is a, a, a if we consider overall uh, performance per statistical significant uh, results from male and females, uh, if we consider ratio quantile, uh, ratio quantile, uh, quantile based on rush, we can observe similar lowest performance uh, in grade uh, 5, uh, and uh, this uh, difference uh, is uh, along the entire distribution at grade 8, and for grade 10, uh, begin after the Percentile. The Latin class, the Latin class for grade uh, 5, the greatest difference is for the highest performer levels, while in uh, the grade 8, the best and the worst in class show the highest difference in favor of males, and then in the grade 10, the worst class has the same probability for the two uh, genders. And uh, so, uh, and the transition, transition from medium to worse is similar for grade 5, while change from grade 8 and also from grade uh, 10. Then in, in conclusion, uh, the recalling the key question, yes, there is a difference uh, in performance, in the overall performance by uh, boys and girls, and uh, at value is a uh, different performance level. This uh, difference begins at the, just at the primary school and uh, increase as, uh, during the uh, education cycles, and uh, um, in particular the difference are more evident at the intermediate level. And then, yes, female perform better in some uh, context um, respect to the uh, men. And so, uh, what should the school do? Uh, several things, I think. So. Uh, first, uh, to uh, promote target interaction, that uh, so not the same, um, the same kind of learning activity, but differentiated by gender and uh, also differentiated by the level of performance and just at primary education and also I think it is important to dedicate it, uh, some attention to the uh, upper secondary school, the lower sec upper secondary school because it is uh, um, a crucial step during the uh, school process. Then involve teachers uh, especially in motivate uh, girls and then uh, implement activity that encourage students to have more faith in their uh, ability. But uh, at the end I think that uh, uh, one of very important elements is to verify all of this uh, action because we, uh, a lot of uh, activity, a lot of laboratory are uh, promoting school that uh, require a uh, stronger effort by teachers and also by students, but uh, it is important to verify the impact of this activity in improving the uh, some aspects.